Hey everybody! Well, today I thought we'd take a look at another one of these book nooks. I'm kind of hooked on these lately. I think they're really fun to build and they end up looking really cool. Now this one here is by a company called Tone Cheer and it's from China, I'm guessing. Uh, it's called Story of Forest. What I like about this one is that it's different from the rest. It's got a kind of an outdoor theme to it. You got this really cool looking deer in there. It's going to have a light. I think that's a sensor for when you walk by. It'll turn it on and maybe it'll have just a manual light as well. On the back here you can kind of see the uh, assembly process of some of this. But I do like it just because I love the outdoor theme of it. Now I got this on Amazon. It was on sale for $58. Uh, I've seen it range anywhere between $58 and maybe $65. So uh, you'll have to kind of look around to see if you can get it on sale. All right, well, let's take a look inside and see what the parts look like. Yeah, okay, let's start with the sheets of parts here. So this looks like one of the sides right here. We can see it's got, I kind of wish it didn't have this writing on it. I think it would have looked better without that and just kept it decorative. Um, this is an, the, uh, I'm guessing this is the inside. The artwork on it is very, very nicely done. It's printed very well uh, on all of these parts. You can see here some of the trees that are going to stick out. Over here uh, we have some uh, more trees, maybe the base of it. There's a, even a little dragonfly right there, which is really neat. Oh, that's pretty neat, some twigs or something. Oh no, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the deer. And then over here we've got, uh, I'm guessing that's the floor of it, where we got the little river. And, I mean, there's not a whole lot of parts to this, but it, it's still uh, very nicely done. I like that the parts are all printed already. So, yeah, these will be really cool to build, I think. We also get this nice tray of parts. So, uh, this is going to have the mirror piece in there. I didn't realize this had the mirror, and I do like that because it adds more depth to it and kind of gives it the illusion that it goes further back than it actually does. Here is the uh, battery compartment. It's all wired up and we have this little bit here which looks like, uh, let's see what is this? Oh that's the LEDs that's going to light up. And over here that leads to this part of the circuit which this is going to be the sensor the motion sensor and then we have a nice little uh, screwdriver comes with some glue which is nice looks like it's clear glue and we also have a little bit of hardware in here it looks like some screws and some nuts probably for the battery compartment there this is really neat look at this we get a nice little hammer that is really cool I had no idea it would come with this you know actually I could probably use this for a Lego sets there's times where you need to kind of tap some some of the big panels in on some of those larger sets so that's going to come in very handy for that. It's got the nice soft uh, plastic uh, tip on there and you also got the metal side you can use. Very, very cool. That was a nice little thing. That was worth it just for that. And there's a little sheet of sandpaper in case you need to sand down the burrs of the wood parts. All right, well, I guess I'll get started on this. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so I have been working on this for a while now. Um, everything's going together pretty darn good, I got to say. These pieces all fit in there very nicely. Uh, so this is the one side wall here and then we also have the other side wall right here you can see these nice trees the way everything goes in here they even got a couple of little rocks down there and the river so i wasn't really sure why uh we needed this hammer but i understand now it comes in very handy to smack the wood into these little you know, you got two layers of wood right here, and you got to smack them into these notches. This is a problem that I had with the previous book nook I had, trying to get these in here. Um, sometimes it's really hard. So I'm really glad that this kit provided a, uh, a hammer, because you can smack uh, the hammer, the wood, into these notches here, and then also um, towards each other. So you have to go downward to make sure they're flush this way, but you also have to make sure they're flush this way as well. So it, it's a little tricky. Uh, but you need to keep them, you know, at a right angle. So that came in really handy for putting in these parts on both of those bottom sections. Uh, whenever there's those notches. Here is the uh, lights. We're starting to work on these now. So i got the battery compartment screwed in. Uses three AA batteries. Thankfully everything's already wired. And then you have these little um, connector, connector pieces right here that hold in the light which is right here and these this light is very bright so here let me turn this on I'll show you 
how bright this is. It's only got the two lights, but they are, I look at that, I mean, it just drowns out in the camera. <laughs> so that's going to light up that entire, it almost, I wonder if it's going to be a little too bright. And then this is the sensor. I'm not sure how this works, to be honest with you. I guess I'll find out when I uh, get to that point. But all right, so we got some pretty good progress. We got a lot of parts. There's not too many parts left. And um, like I said, this is going together really good. So I think we have to put a bridge in here somewhere where the, um, oh, actually the bridge is already there. Oh, okay, so I was trying to figure out what that hole is for, but that's gonna be for the uh, other side of the bridge for the deer to be on. All right, so I guess I will continue to uh, move on with this. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we got some pretty darn good progress going on here. I gotta say that when it comes to these book nooks, my least favorite part is putting the walls on, uh, trying to get them in these notches. You know, it's not just that you're pushing it, you know, down like I mentioned, but you're also going this way as well. And you gotta make sure that it's good and tight in each one of those little notches. You wanna make sure that you've got those fitting nice and tight, if I can focus in on these. And that's where this hammer comes in handy. I got this thing was worth its weight in gold. I can use this for other book note kits where this becomes a problem. But that using that hammer really knocks those notches in place and gets rid of any gaps that you have in there, and uh, makes for some really nice tight fittings inside there. So uh, let me see. We now have this thing kind of hanging off here. This is the box. This is a pretty cool box, I gotta say. For the light in here and you can kind of see inside there maybe the little circuit board that's uh, down inside there so that just is part of this this is going to go on top this way I'm assuming I haven't got the whole thing put together yet and then um, this set does have the mirror that goes in and uh, I think that's probably one of my favorite thing uh, favorite things about these kits so this is going to go right down inside here and you got to get it in those little notches. See if I can uh, get it in there just right. It's a little tricky. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I can do this on camera. Well, actually, it's going to fit. Well, it's going to fit like that. But it's hard for me to film it while I'm <laughs> trying to get it in there. But anyway, I should be done here in just a little bit. All right, here it is, all complete, and man, I really, really like this one. I think this is going to be my favorite book nook out of the three that I've built so far. Uh, this looks really, really good. I love the colors in it. I love the scenery in it. It's going to be a little dark in here. Uh, I'll turn the lights on so we can really admire the details on the inside. I'm not really a fan of the writing. I kind of wish they would have done something else. On this side, it looks kind of plain. Um, here, if you look at this side, see how nice this looks? Now, this looks really good. I could have done without the writing, though. They could have just had the, the scenery. I think that would have looked nice. And maybe just have the same exact print on this side, but, you know, maybe backwards or whatever. But it definitely needed something. Now, granted, when you put this on your bookshelf, you're probably not even going to see the sides. Because, I mean, the main focus, of course, is the front. But, um, I don't know. I kind of think that that still looks kind of bad on there. And here's the back of it, which you're not really going to see either. And here's the battery compartment, the on-off switch. So uh, when you turn it on, the light, of course, will come on. And then it goes off after a, a couple of minutes or so. And then if you walk in front of it or wave your hand in front of the sensor, it turns it back on. So it'll just keep going on and off um, whenever it turns off automatically. And then you just kind of activate the sensor. Or you can just turn it off and not have to worry about it at all. But let's take a look at it with the lights on, because that's where the beauty of the whole thing really shows up. Okay, let's look at this in total darkness, because that's the best way to appreciate it. Now, it looks a little brighter uh, on camera than it does in person. It's relatively bright in person, too, but the camera does make it look brighter. But you can see how beautiful this is. I mean, look at that. That looks so cool. You got the deer right there, and he's crossing over that little log bridge. And you can see all the nice little antlers on him. And then you can see these nice trees, the effect of the trees here. Three layers of trees on the side. And the printing and also the leaves that go all the way up here. The printing on the side, which looks really good like that. Down here we got a few little plants and flowers and uh, some grass, even some rocks down there. Love the little river. That little thing in the middle right there is what holds that together on this end. A little more uh, plants on this side. 
further back. Now it turns off, so we have to wave our hands around to activate it because it turns off automatically after a couple of minutes. Here we can see the nice details going on right up here. Now this light is way up here and it's pretty bright. You can see how bright that is. But it lights up that whole interior. Now that mirror back there, uh, that's what I love. I mean, it really makes this thing look like it goes way further back than it actually does. You can see the line of the mirror right back there. You can see where it starts to bend. So the good thing about this set is they did actually print both sides of anything that's going to show in the mirror. Like the other side of the trees are all painted and printed. Same with the, uh, the deer. You can see the deer back there, the, the reflection of him. So he's painted as well. Um, some of these book nooks, uh, they, don't, they don't paint the other side and it's going to show through on the mirror. I'm not sure why they do that. And one of the book nooks, if you uh, look back at my videos, I think it was the first one I built, they actually had the signage so that it wasn't, uh, it would show up backwards in the mirror. And they weren't supposed to do that either. But, uh, <laughs> I have to keep turning that on. But, uh, yeah, this one they got, they got it right on this one. But look how nice that looks. It's just a nice little natural forest in there. It's very, very peaceful. Makes you kind of want to shrink yourself down and walk around in there, walk along that little river. It's so cool. This is definitely going to be my favorite so far, just because of the color and the subject matter. I do love the other ones, and these things are so fun to build. I really love building these book nooks. I'm really hooked on these. I think there's, a, there's another one I might build that has a pirate theme to it. Um, I haven't decided yet. It's a little cartoony, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I kind of like that one, too. This one here is pretty narrow compared to some of the other ones. Uh, the last one I did, the Diagon Alley one, you can check out that video. That one's pretty wide, and uh, it doesn't go as far back as this one. Um, but, you know, with the mirror, of course, it makes it look like it goes further in. But, yeah, this is really cool. So, uh, yeah, this one I got on Amazon. And, uh, sorry, I have to keep activating it. Yeah, but uh, this was on Amazon. I think I got it for about... Um, what did I say? $57, $58? It was on sale, and it doesn't go on sale very often. I think it's normally around $65. It's one of the more expensive ones, but I'm guessing it's because of all the printing. There's a lot of colored pieces in there. Everything's really uh, painted and colored. Some of the other sets are just plain wood, and they only have kind of like the burnt etchings of details for like the bricks or something like that. This thing is all painted and colored. It looks really good. And I think they have one that doesn't have so much writing on the side, but I couldn't I couldn't find that one on Amazon, but uh, this is really cool. So, yeah, if you're interested in buying one of these and building it, um, definitely go check them out. They're uh, a fun little thing to put together. This one went together pretty fast. I think I probably spent maybe six hours working on it. I'm a slow builder, so <laughs> you know, it takes me probably longer. Some people will probably whip this thing out in two hours or three hours maybe, but uh, the little hammer that came with this set is worth the price alone because I can, I can use that for so many other great uh, set, you know, Lego sets, and also for these kinds of things, too, just to get those walls put on there. But, uh, yeah, absolutely love it. This thing definitely gives a thumbs up from me. All right, well, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate you watching my videos and your viewership. So thank you again, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.